Londoners joined in a family farewell as the King, the Queen and Princess Margaret drove to London Airport to wish Godspeed to Princess Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh. And even larger crowds cheered the arrival at the airport. Then their majesties, followed by Princess Margaret, walked onto the tarmac to see the royal plane, the Canadian-built Argonaut Atalanta. The king was making only his second public appearance since his illness, which prevented him from becoming the first reigning monarch to visit Australia. So his daughter, Princess Elizabeth, and her husband, once again Britain's young ambassadors, have undertaken the strenuous 30,000-mile tour. The royal party go aboard the Atalanta to see for themselves the special arrangements made for the comfort of the travellers. Donning a scarf, Mr. Churchill also crosses the windswept drome to convey the good wishes of Parliament. First to lead the Argonaut were Earl and Countess Mountbatten, whose daughter Pamela is to be lady-in-waiting to the Princess. Farewell's over, the King and Queen are the last to leave and return to the tarmac. During their travels, the young couple, as in Canada, will meet not only prime ministers and statesmen, but also the ordinary men, women and children who make up our great commonwealth. And finally, the King and Queen and Princess Margaret watch the huge airliner disappear into wintry skies, carrying the royal ambassadors to Kenya, where they'll stay in their honeymoon gift home after the first stage of their tour. So, in the words of John Maysfield, may all the weathers of your way be fair, and safe returning crown your journey done.